In this slide, we'll cover the data ingestion and processing part of the data platform, which is a key component. This is about moving data from one set of data source and moving to the other database sources. Examples of data sources and destination databases can include some of these, such as IoT data, which may need to be moved from its source in a manufacturing plant, for example, to an, to an organization's ERP databases. Or it could also include ERP data itself, which is one key data source and is also used as a destination database to move data into from other sources. There could be some operational data and social media data, which can be moved into an organization's databases for analysis and to get insights about an organization's users and customers. System logs, internal documents, and others are also other forms of data that organizations can use to insource uh, into their organization's overall data architecture. So as for data ingestion, it involves data extraction, acquisition, and loading of data for analysis and other business reasons. Now, these business reasons and use cases can be many. Uh, for example, an organization can insource a reference and other industry and market related data and use that to load its internal databases. Also, an organization may want to import data from its legacy systems into its new databases or to insource data to analyze this data. And, and there could be many other reasons. Data ingestion and processing is a key component of any cloud or other solutions where data is sent from one or multiple sources and sent to destination databases. It's about building a data pipeline into an organization's data sources, either by ingesting data from external sources or even from an organization's internal databases. One can also build these data pipelines and create ETL, ELT workflows. Uh, ETL stands for extract, transform, and load. And in the ELT, we do the loading before we transform the data. Data ingestion and processing is also used in data migration use cases where data needs to be migrated from one platform or source to another platform or data sources. One example of a tool that is used in these use cases is that of Apache Flume, which is used for ingestion of data. Using Apache Flume, one can take large amounts of data from multiple data sources, aggregate it, and move it to other destination databases. So while data ingestion is about setting up pipelines to get the data, data processing focuses on how to process and transform the data before it's used. So it can be used for data integration, where data from multiple sources is integrated into fewer databases and sources for more efficient usage by applications. Data processing also concerns itself with combining structured, unstructured, and semi-structured data, such as logs, files, media, etc., into one logical database. It is used extensively in big data processing, where data has to be in a specific form before it's used by big data and analytics applications. And data processing applications are also used to process data in real time. So examples of cloud-based tools that help in establishing data ingestion pipelines and to process that data are many, and they include Apache Kafka, Apache Flume, uh, Apache Spark, and Google's, and Google's Cloud Data Fusion and others.